Hey, what's up everybody? I just wanted to do a quick video of this nozzle spraying naked. I want to examine the jet coming off of this thing because it's definitely working better than the other atomizers and we're going to take a look at it and I wanted to share with you guys one of the um, the final discoveries of this whole atomizer journey here. This library is going to be concluded with a final build just to show how easy it is and this picture right here is basically the essence of some of the highest quality industrial atomizers when you buy the $300 ones they have online this is what's inside of them and it's no more complex than this basically this shape right here I'm gonna be building with these parts I'm gonna do a little video showing the exact dimensions of these tubes because a lot of people keep asking me for specifications that I didn't bother jotting down so I'm going to throw this little thing together and show just how easy it is to make an extremely awesome atomizer. And yes, you can buy the Delavan nozzles for pretty cheap. This here is also cheap. And I think it's going to work a little bit better than the Delavan nozzles because it can also blow air to um, aid the combustion processes. With the Delavan nozzles, you pretty much need a separate blower. So if you're going for simplicity, then uh, this is gonna be the way to go. But uh, after all the diagrams I've examined online, pretty much comes down to this. That flat section right there is perfectly fine. Um, when I first built this one, I was under the impression that we needed a conical shape or a convergent nozzle of some kind, but that, um, I don't think that's the case because there's about a millimeter of surface area inside that outer orifice that is a cylinder. It has no conical shape despite what you see there. The thickness of the tube caused that uh, geometry. So at any rate, I'm gonna shut up and I just thought it'd be cool to look at the spray pattern of this thing because what little we could examine during the combustion process was kind of neat to look at. So I'm interested to, to uh, view this pattern and see what this thing does. My pressure is supposed to be at 100 PSI. I don't know if this gauge is uh, faulty. Let's do a little gauge test here. Okay, so my equipment sucks, basically. This says 100, that says 110. Usually if you give a, a gauge a good jarring, I'm probably going in reverse. <laughs> You're supposed to flick a gauge, I know that. That's what a scientist once told me. That before you read a gauge, you're always supposed to give it a little flick. This thing is not performing well. At any rate, I'm shutting up. Let's do this. Really nice. So essentially, my camera skills leave a lot to be desired and I don't know what we're going to be able to see out of that, but um, what I saw was a massive vapor cloud of oil. It looked kind of like smoke or like a, a fine mist, kind of like what you would see off a pressure washer. Definitely a heavily atomized spray. It's not like uh, the other atomizers I've built. Now when I tested this thing on the other videos, if you guys have seen this before, I had it hooked up backwards. So I don't want people to think um, that video was the full representation of this device. 